In our previous session, we were discussing regarding content proje projection, wherein whenever we are clicking on this particular session, we are actually calling the toggle on click of this particular session of this particular event. Whenever we are clicking on this session, we are toggling between hiding the description of that particular session and then displaying the session details like this. So suppose I have a requirement in such a way that I want to display a fire icon over here. As part of this particular session, I want to display a fire icon over here, glyph icon. Whenever the voters for this particular session increases like more than three, okay? When there are voters more than three for this particular session, I want to display a fire icon over here. So let's see how we can implement in this video. I'll switch to Visual Studio Code. Here we have session-list.component.html. As part of this file, previously we had introduced this collapsible well and we had binded this title property to this session.name, right? Previously we have done this. Now I want to separate this with title as well as body content. So how we can do that? Let's see now, okay? So let's introduce div with attribute and differentiate title content with the body content, okay? So let us get rid of this. Instead of this, let's introduce div with well hyphen title. Okay. And here inside this, I'm going to specify the session title. That is session dot name. This is title. So we are differentiating the content of the title with the body. Okay. So as part of this title, I want to display here, if you see in our application, as part of this title, beside this title, I want to display a fire icon over here. So let's introduce the fire icon by providing icon, okay? I with a condition that is ng if, what is the condition? Session dot voters dot length. If session dot orders dot length is greater than three, okay. If this is greater than three, then I want to display a fire icon. So how we can display by using cliff icon, okay? Cliff icon, cliff icon hyphen fire, okay. And style for this, let's specify with some color. That is color red i'm closing this <clears throat> here you can observe that we are applying a style for this glyph icon okay as part of this we have applied style equals color colon red okay now what nel what else we have to do as part of this now if you observe over here we have provided well hyphen title similarly let's differentiate with the body content as well so how we can do that by specifying div well hyphen body okay inside this body we are wrapping all these details that is session dot presenter session dot duration session dot level and session dot abstract and i'm closing this here okay That's it. now these changes we have done that is we are separating the well title with the well body. Now we are making use of these attributes inside our collapsible hyphen well dot component dot ts. And let's introduce these attributes as part of collapsible well. Okay. Inside this file. Let's do that now. Okay. Now here if you observe as part of this icon that is fire icon which I am displaying. Here we have provided the condition that if the orders dot length is greater than three for that particular session, then this particular glyph icon that is glyph hyphen, hyphen fire has to be displayed. That fire icon has to be displayed beside the session title. Okay. So as part of this class, we have to close the ball code over here. Okay. And we are applying the color red for this. So we will save all these changes. Now let's use these attributes that is well hyphen title, well hyphen body inside collapsible hyphen well dot component dot ts. So inside here, what we are going to do is, as part of this click event, this is same. We are not changing anything over here. Now, as part of the header, which we are displaying over here, that is H4, 
let's display the content separately by using ng hyphen content okay so let's get rid of this h4 here i want to display using ng hyphen content by using select option by using select option here we can pass that attribute what is that attribute well hyphen title okay well hyphen title we are passing to this select okay this is one of the option provided inside ng hyphen content and we are closing this or here ng hyphen content so this particular content which we are displaying inside this as part of h4 includes the title okay this includes the title which we are specifying in that session hyphen list dot content dot html the title will be displayed separately as part of this ng hyphen content and another ng hyphen content we are displaying the body okay so as part of this we are providing the condition ng equals visible this remains same now here we are specifying select option and we are binding here with another attribute that is well hyphen body and these attributes well hyphen title well hyphen body we have specified in the session hyphen list dot component dot html if you remember if you see over here for div we are specifying well hyphen title attribute and for here another div we are specifying well hyphen body so inside this well hyphen body attribute whatever div we are specifying over here we are displaying the content of the session what is the content session dot presenter duration level and abstract and we are separating this particular ng content with the title as well as body we are separating both okay and these two we are displaying by binding it inside this well hyphen title for select option for ng hyphen content okay that's it these are the changes which we are making and what else we have to do if you observe over here we have we have provided div so we are going to close over here slash div okay and another thing what what we have to do is if you observe here we have provided input as at the rate input title with type string this is no longer required why this is no longer required because we are already provided over here clearly right session dot name bell hyphen title and we are getting from here no need of again providing at the rate input title of type string without this it still works so let's get rid of this line okay let's save all these changes so now let's compile this project and let's see the output okay now you can see that project got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost colon 4200 so let's open this and let's see now here you can see all the events getting displayed i'll click on any of the event and here you can see this particular session is having voters more than three. That's the reason we are able to see this fire glyph icon displayed over here. So we have put the condition in such a way that if any session is having voters dot length greater than three, we want to display a glyph icon that is fire icon beside it with red color. That's what we have prov provided over here, right? And we are able to see it over here. Now you can click on here to toggle between the session description to be shown or not okay that we had implemented previously using content projection now in this video what we have implemented is multi-slot content projection wherein we are dividing the content ng hyphen content between well title and well body okay using these attributes we are differentiating the ng content between title and body and once we have differentiated inside our session hyphen list dot component dot html we are making use of these attributes and we are actually providing over here inside our collapsible hyphen well dot component dot ts using ng hyphen content directive and we are making use of this select option wherein we are passing well hyphen title and well hyphen body attributes over here and we are displaying the content okay and the same toggle mechanism which we had previously seen for content projection still applies for this wherein whenever we are clicking on any of the session it will toggle between showing the session description and hiding the session description that we have seen previously in this video we have seen this fire icon where it is where it will get displayed whenever the order's length is more than three for any of the particular session for this particular event okay that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video 
please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos click on that bell icon so that you will start receiving notifications whenever i am uploading a new video